if general revelation is evidence that impinges on all human consciousness, why don't all people acknowledge God? What's Paul's answer? Do you remember what Paul says in Romans 1? We all suppress the evidence from creation. And what's the main way that people suppress the evidence for God? By creating idols, God substitutes, right? An idol is anything in the created order that's elevated to the status of the divine, that's turned into a god, that's deified, absolutized. Now, we tend to think of statues and golden calves, right? But an idol can be something abstract. Think of the personal idols many of us have. We live for success or relationships. These are some of the things people often live for. It can also be something abstract like matter. Is matter part of the created order? Sure it is. So materialism as a philosophy qualifies as an idol. It puts matter in the place of God as the ultimate reality, as the source and cause of everything else. What about reason? Can reason be an idol? Sure. It's called, in in philosophy, it's rationalism. It puts human reason in the place of God as the source and standard of all truth. By the way, Albert Einstein called himself a believing rationalist. Isn't that interesting? He understood that it was a full-blown worldview, a full-blown creed. Atheist websites, a lot of young people are now getting their information about the world from uh, perusing websites. And atheist websites like to claim atheism is not a belief. Atheism is merely the lack of belief in God. But no one can think without some starting point, something that is thought to be self-existent, eternal, the source of everything else. So if you do not, as as Romans says, if you do not acknowledge the transcendent creator, you will make a divinity out of something imminent within the creation. 